Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. Today we're going to be having a look at the new Hike Micro Pocket Series thermal camera. This is an awesome little thermal camera they just sent out to me. You may be familiar with the Eco Series. That was by far my favorite little thermal camera from the last couple months, but this one might take the cake. This one's got a couple awesome new features that I'm going to show you. Um, so we'll unbox it. Here's a couple of the specs and uh, I'll show you how to work this thing. So out of the box, you once again have your manual, nice detailed manual once again, always good literature to go along with these Hike Micros. This is the camera itself, you can see this time they have included a case, which is nice. That was my only real complaint with the Eco over here is there was no case, so no real good storage option. You have to keep that one in the box. Uh, it also includes a USB-C and a little wrist strap, kind of like you'd see on a camera. Um, so out of the pouch we have the camera itself nice slim compact design it's sort of like an old digital camera or a cell phone style but the goal with this one is obviously to fit in your pocket hence the name the pocket series so up front here we have the thermal camera but we also have another camera this is an 8 megapixel camera and I'll show you the purpose of that one here shortly uh, there's also a little flash over here so uh, a couple new features on this one that are really cool I like this camera a lot already I'll show you the old Google Chromecast back here. It's always running around 96 degrees. So I'll show you a quick image here and then I'll take you inside and show you some of the new features. So there it is once again, you have your center, your max temp and your minimum temp. It's doing a little calibration. Actually, the Chromecast is running a little cooler than usual today. So um, yeah, this is just sort of the first look. I'll take you inside, show you a couple of the new features and what this camera can do. Okay, so I've showed this before. This is my garage heater setup. I have a little Renai tankless water heater, a uh, hydronic water coil with a fan behind it. Nothing too crazy, but I thought I'd show you one of the new features on the Hike Micro on this. So here we have some heat in the boiler. I've been uh, running some hot water recently, so you can see the water pipes are hot. But as you notice with most thermal cameras, if you look at something that is not hot, you really can't make out any detail on it. But with the new Pocket Series, you can add that second camera into the thermal image and see all this detail. So down here on our recycling bin, it says we recycle, and you can actually see that on the thermal camera with the addition of that second camera lens. So this is a really cool feature. I think this is a game changer in the thermal camera um, market. You can totally see all details, whether it's hot or cool, um, which is great for... You know kind of finer details if you're not really sure where you're pointing the camera you can turn that on and it makes such a difference in the image i'll turn it back off here all that detail is gone all that detail is back now down here we have the picture in picture if you want to do thermal camera in the center with a standard camera around the outside and down here we have another version of that dual camera setup this one's just a little more clear i think um, it's not as highlighted on the details, but you can select how much thermal you want to add to the actual image. So, very cool. I think that's an awesome feature. Uh, I'm going to take you in and show you a couple other things, and we'll try out these new features. Alright guys, for this one, I'm not even going to tell you what we're looking at, just to show you the value of this uh, new Fusion feature. So. As you can see, we have a hot spot in the middle there, but you're probably not quite sure what you're looking at until we turn that on. And then immediately you can tell we're looking at my breaker panel. So we have uh, all this detail added into the thermal image that you normally wouldn't be able to see along with the hot spot there on the GFCI breaker. Okay, so here we are in my bathroom. I hope you don't mind the echo, but uh, I want to show you a spot on the ceiling. Now, I know this is here because we had to open this ceiling up recently, but if I place the camera up here, you can see my hot water line runs basically right across the top of the drywall. So um, if you were trying to locate that for the sake of opening it up, there's not a lot of other detail to go off of here, but if you were to use Fusion, you can see 
the marks in the mud and you can more accurately place where that pipe is. Now if you go to Fusion, you get even more detail. And uh, I think that makes it really easy to actually figure out exactly where that is. Now the Pocket E also has Wi-Fi built right in, so you no longer have to upload your images and video to your phone or to a computer via USB-C cable. You can just connect to the Wi-Fi network, connect to your phone, send all your images in real time. You can also cast your images to a computer uh, or to a cell phone. Lots of different options and a big improvement over the USB-C cable. The other cool feature with the Pocket E is it has a touch screen, unlike the other one with uh, the standard buttons, this one is touch screen. It does include their Super IR feature, just like all the other Hike Micro cameras, which is a, an upscaling, makes the image a lot smoother, better quality picture. Um, it does have four gigabytes of internal storage, so you can store up to 30,000 standard thermal photos or 20 hours of digital recording. So let me know in the comments what you think of the new Pocket E from Hike Micro. This is a brand new release, so they're always looking for feedback on these new cameras. I really enjoy the addition of that 8 megapixel lens. I think it adds a whole new level of detail to the overall thermal image. So if you guys are in the market for one, be sure to check out the link below to their Amazon page. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.